Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Sam. Welcome back to another iOS update video. Today we've got iOS 12.3. It is officially out for everyone. You can go to settings, general, and software update right now. Grab it for yourself. There's AirPlay 2 features that come in this update as well as a brand new TV app and some bug fixes and improvements. So as always, I want to show you everything that's new. If you're excited for this video, drop a like down below and that would seriously help me out and hit subscribe so you stay up to date on the latest iOS news. So pretty much the second after you're finished updating and you go to your home, screen, if you have the TV app on there, you're going to notice immediately that there is something big in iOS 12.3. Now, big depending on how much you use it, but if you have ever used the TV app, it's only gotten a lot better uh, in iOS 12.3. So there are new sections up here. You've got movies, TV shows, sports, and there is a brand new kids section that is under the Watch Now tab. You can see at the bottom, this has all been tweaked. It used to be like movies, TV shows, sports down here. Now it's just Watch Now Library and Search. But if you have kids, Kids, you can check out this cool section right here. You've also got sports, of course, telling you what's going on right now, what's happening with the MLB, and this one, of course, does change dynamically, as they all do throughout the year as different sports are in season. Movies and TV shows still retained up there as well. Up next is where you can watch your shows that Apple thinks you're going to want to continue watching or you've started playing. If you're not sure what to watch, Apple's going to recommend things for you. You've got general, new, and noteworthy shows, uh, and then featured on some of the apps that Apple knows you've historically downloaded or that they think you could be interested. In library, you have all your traditional movies and TV shows that you own, uh, and then in search, well, you've got shows that you might be interested in searching for or things that are trending. So if I cancel that, go out of here, it's going to tell you trending movies and TV shows. And of course, Game of Thrones is on here. So what made Apple make this change in the first place? Well, if you caught their event back in March, they announced Apple TV+, Plus, which is their upcoming streaming service said to be launching later this year. So to lay the groundwork for that, they redesign the TV app. So it looks like this now, and of course, you do again have that fresh icon on the home screen, which I'm actually a huge fan of. It looks fresh, just like the app. Now, also new in iOS 12.3, just so exciting. Uh, not really, just some small tweaks to AirPlay 2, although this one is pretty big. It now supports sharing videos, photos, music, and more from your iPhone and iPad, and of course iPod Touch, they always leave that one out, directly to your AirPlay 2 enabled smart TV. Samsung now allows the brand new Apple TV app to run natively on Samsung smart TVs, and now you can AirPlay 2 to those enabled smart TVs. It, it isn't only Samsung, but that was one of the main ones. Also new is that one tap playback is gonna automatically play your chosen TV show or movie on the last screen you used based on time and location. And as I highlighted earlier, any of this stuff happening with recommendations is happening on device. They're not sending that info to a server. Now, of course, there are some other changes in iOS 12.3 as well that I think are equally important to highlight. So iOS 12.3 adds the ability to follow a magazine from the Apple News Plus catalog browsing view directly. I subscribed to that for a while, but just kind of got bored, so I canceled my subscription. Apple Music's For You tab, this one's pretty cool, now updates multiple times a day, so you always have fresh content to look at for themes, genres, artists, and moods. Sometimes in iOS 12.2, the Apple TV remote would freeze or not work properly, wouldn't change volume on supported receivers. That has been corrected. iOS 12.3 makes sure that Wi-Fi calls are no longer dropping if you are on Wi-Fi calling. And finally, iOS 12.3 does correct an issue where song info might not appear correctly on your car's display. So this is the update, uh, likely the last major iOS 12 update that we are going to see, guys, now that WWDC, iOS 13, Beta 1, the biggest update possibly ever, but without question since iOS 7, is three weeks away, and I have not been this excited to cover an iOS update, uh, I, I would say since iOS 7 in 2013, when I started my YouTube channel. So get excited for that. We're expecting dark mode, uh, iPad mouse support, which is just out of this world, new dynamic wallpapers, and so, so much more. I'll leave my video linked up in the top right hand corner of the screen so you can get caught up to date with the latest for iOS 13. But in the meantime, for just three more weeks, we got to settle with iOS 12.3. And of course, if any other iOS updates are released, I'll keep you updated along the way. So hit like if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more. I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing well. This is iOS 12.3 and I'll see you all in my next video.